Distillation is a technique which can be used to separate a mixture of solutions that have different boiling points. As your reaction mixture is heated, the liquid with the lowest boiling point will be vaporized and condensed through the condenser by cold water and is then collected in a receiving flask. To set up a distillation apparatus, first place a heating mantle on some wooden blocks to elevate it. Put your flask in and clamp it. Then you should add your mixture of liquids with different boiling points. Be sure to choose a round bottom flask so that your uh, flask is only half to two thirds full. And then add a boiling chip or two to prevent bubbling over. Next, add in your condenser adapter. Start attaching the condenser. Make sure that all of your joints are securely attached with rubber bands to make sure that they are tight and won't come apart. Once you've got your vacuum adapter on the other end, a receiving flask can be added. Next, you need to add some hoses. So from the lower side of the condenser closest to the receiving flask, that is where you attach the hose to the cold water. And the more elevated side is where you attach a hose leading to a drain. The final step is to add a thermometer using a thermometer adapter. When putting the thermometer into the adapter, be sure to insert by holding very close to the adapter and using a gentle rotating motion. Don't hold from far away or else you risk breaking the thermometer and cutting your hand. The thermometer is placed at the top of the condenser adapter. Make sure that the mercury bulb is sitting just below the joint in the distilling head. When your distillation is complete, and you want to take apart your distillation setup, the first thing to do is to make sure that the cold water is turned off. Next, you want to remove your receiving flask. And put it somewhere safe. Then the rubber band can be removed adapter taken off. And in order to not spill anything, you need to make sure that your condenser gets drained properly. So first, detach the hose from the cold water. And then you can gently pull this off and invert the condenser so that all the water drains down the sink. Once that's done, the hose is going to be removed and the condenser is placed aside. Next step, you can take off your thermometer and its adapter, as well as the condenser adapter. And then remove your original flask. 